What's up guys? Um, I've got a XV90 train variable speed. Uh, it does have a Honeywell zone board. When I got here, high limit was bad, of course. And um, so I'm looking around, obviously, and lo and behold, the motor variable speed motor is not doing what it's supposed to be doing. Um, I'm going to put a link. I'll, I'll show you what it looked like right now. Um, so I tested it a couple different ways. I wasn't sure 100%. I actually called Ralph at uh, down south there, Ralph Wolf, our good buddy, and gave him a shot just to see what he had uh, gone. Across. I don't deal with uh, variable speeds that often. Um, they don't go down on me as much. Um, but tech support, I'm going to show you what they showed me to do. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the... There's a 12, sorry, 16 wire coming off of the motor itself. That's the lower one here. This guy here. This is the new motor. I already picked it up. Um, you're going to jump it out. Now, with this tab here facing to you, so basically in an upright position like so, you're going to go from 1, which is the farthest one here and three to common so just use low voltage and then it's going to go one here all the way across the front to eight then this next one here is going to go to nine all the way over to 16 so you'll take your one and three and you're going to run it over to common which is what I did and then you're going to take your 12 and 15 and run it over to R which is what I did and at that point you should get power to the blower itself and you can see if it's the blower if it's the um, or whatever it is it could be the board and this way it'll bypass it entirely so there's the old one and here's the new one so this one does come with this little Piece you got to slide in there. Still have to mount it up, but I did just test it and she does work okay. Um, another thing to do as well, just to verify and make sure the motor is not. Give me a second, let me set this down. You just want to run these two together, these two together, and these two together. Obviously, run them all through and see if you, you have uh, continuity there. So as long as you have that, then the motor is still good, which is the main objective, I suppose. And then the modular is bad. So we're going to replace the module, and uh, we'll put it back together. Um, there you go. Yeah, there she is running again. I had to rotate the motor. Um, the squirrel cage just one bolt. But unfortunately, the motors usually stay going. It's the motor to check out, so that's all that really matters. So, but again, back to the troubleshoot. You can see how this is what's on the side because I'm in an attic here. But underneath here, you can see the see if I can get it. That's how the clip is set up. I them in the way. Well, you get the idea. It's uh, 1 and 3 to common and 12 and 15 to R. 
and then obviously once you get the motor out, you want to home out the motor and make sure she's not shot just to verify and make sure the motor's not the problem. But she's up back and running. Take care, guys.